This tutorial will show you how to set up and start using Google Documents or Google Docs. Google Docs have many features, but it is easiest to think of them as an office suite like Microsoft Word or OpenOffice. The most common office features are available in your web browser. You can create documents on your own or as part of a group. Google stores your documents on their server, so you should consider the privacy implications for the service. You can create documents and leave them on Google servers, or you can create them on Google Docs, then store them on your own machine. To get started, log into your Gmail account. If you don't have a Gmail account, then go to this URL. From here, you can create a Google account. The way you do that is you click on Create One for Free, and then fill out the questions. Once you have an account, you can log in and start creating documents. I have an account, so I will just log in. This is an account I have created for a group project, but you can use any Gmail account. I could use this account for email by clicking on the Gmail setting, but instead I will use it to create some documents for the group. Click on Docs to get started. There are three types, document, spreadsheet, and presentation. We will look at two types. Let's create a word processing document. Click on New, then Document. Google produces a blank page. You create a document just as you would in any word processor. When you are done, click on Save and Close. You now see your document in your folder view. Choose the doc by clicking on the checkbox. Click on More Actions and you can then save in a variety of formats. This is a service that is very useful for group work. Choosing Share lets you send invitations by entering email addresses. This allows other people to work on the document. If you add them as collaborators, they can work on the document, or they can be viewers only. Enter email addresses in the box and then send invitations is what you do. The spreadsheet works similarly with a few differences. Open a spreadsheet and fill in a couple of cells. To edit a cell, double click in it. Your cursor appears in the cell you make your changes and then click in another cell to save the cell you edited. When you are done, click on Save and Close. Word processing documents automatically assign, an, assign a name, but you need to name your spreadsheet. We'll call it Team Members. When you come back to your folders, you can see that you have two documents with icons showing their file type. One is a spreadsheet, one is a word processing document. To share your spreadsheet, click on it, then click on Share. The spreadsheet has similar sharing features as the document. If you want to make the document public, click on Anyone can view this document. As soon as you do that, you get a URL that you can copy and paste. You can, you can use this on your web page or your blog or an email. A real time saver is the fill out a form choice. You create a form, then your users can fill out the spreadsheet for you. They follow the instructions and it will do most of the work for you. This is only an introduction to the service. As you explore it, you'll find many more ways to use it for yourself or with work groups. This concludes this tutorial.